Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will be discussing analysis of clocked sequential circuits. Before starting the analysis problem, I will discuss few definitions related to the sequential circuits. A state equation is an algebraic equation that describes the behavior of the sequential circuit. The state equation is also referred as the transition equation. It specifies the next state as a function of present state as well as input. The state table describes the sequence of input, output, the present state and the next state of the flip-flop in a tabular form. The example of the state table is shown in the figure. The state table consists of present state, input, next state and the output. The state diagram is a graphical representation of the information available in the state table. In the state diagram, a state is represented by a circle. The transition between the states are indicated by the directed lines connecting the circles. The directed lines are labeled with the two binary numbers separated by the slash. The first binary number, it represents the input and the second binary number, it represents the output. A sequential circuit consists of a combinational circuit and a flip-flops. The part of the combinational circuit that generates the input of the flip-flop can be described by algebraically by a set of the Boolean functions referred as the flip-flop input equations or excitation equations. Similarly, in the sequential circuit, there is a part of the combinational circuit that generates external output can also be described algebraically by a set of Boolean functions referred as output equations. So coming to the procedure for analysis of sequential circuit, the first step involves obtaining the input equations of the flip-flop. Next, we need to determine the next state equation. For a deep flip-flop, the next state equation is same as that of the flip-flop input equation. In case of the other flip-flops such as S, R, T and J, K, we need to use the characteristic equation to determine the next state equation. Next, determine the output equation from the given sequential circuit diagram. Then, fill the state table for all possible combinations of the input and the present state values. Finally, draw the state diagram. Consider a sequential circuit shown in the figure. The sequential circuit, it consists of the input X and the output Y. The circuit consists of two flip-flops A and B. The input of the first flip-flop is given by BA and the output are given by QA and QA bar. Similarly, the input of the second flip-flop is given by DB and the output are given by QB and QB bar. The first step in the analysis is to write the input equations of the flip-flop. So, the input equations of the flip-flop as defined earlier is given by this combinational circuit. So, here this AND gate it generates X multiplied by QA and the second AND gate it generates X multiplied by QB. So, here it is QAX and here it is QBX it is given to R gate. So, the output is equal to QAX plus QBX, that is the input of the first flip-flop DA. Similarly, for the second flip-flop, the DB, 
is equal to the output of this AND gate. And this AND gate input R QA bar multiplied by X. So DB is equal to QA bar multiplied by X. So once the input equations are written, the next step is to write the next state equations. Since we are using the D flip flop, the characteristic equation of the D flip flop is given by Q plus equal to D. Q plus it represents the next state equation and D it represents the input of the D flip flop. So from this equation, the next state equation is same as the flip flop input equation. So we can straight away write the so QA plus is equal to DA and QB plus is equal to DB. So the next step is to write the output equation. The output is given by this combinational circuit. Here the input of R gate it is QB. The other input it is equal to QA. So here it is QA plus QB and the other input for AND gate it is X bar. So the output Y is equal to QA plus QB multiplied by X bar. Once all the equations are written, the next step is to draw the state table and fill the values. So the present state table, it consists of present state, input, next state and the output. There are two flip flops. So we will have two bits. QA and QB and the input X. So totally there are 3 bits. So you will have 2 power 3, 8 combinations from 0, 0, 0 to triple 1. And using this equation, state equations and this output equation, I need to fill the state table. So first consider the first value QA equal to 0 and QB equal to 0 and X is equal to 0. So substituting the values here, QA plus is equal to QA into X. So it is 0 into 0, 0 and again QB into X, 0 into 0 it is 0, 0 or 0 again it is QA plus it is equal to 0. And coming to QB plus it is QA bar into X. So QA it is 0, QA bar it is 1, 1 multiplied by 0 it is 0. So QB plus it is also 0. Coming to the output equation that is QA plus QB into X bar. So QA plus QB it is 0 multiplied by X bar multiplied by 1. 0 into 1 it is again 0. So Y it is 0. So similarly using the above 3 equations fill the state table. So this is another form of the state table. So this column, it represents the next state for the input x is equal to 0. And these two columns, it represents the next state for the input x is equal to 1. Similarly, this column represents the output for the input x is equal to 0. And this column, it represents the output for the input x is equal to 1. So the final step is to draw the state diagram. So state diagram is the graphical representation of the information available in the state table. So there are four states. The states are represented by the circles. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. So we will start with the initial state 0, 0. So this state diagram, it consists of circles that represents the state and the transitions are represented by the directed lines and the lines are labeled with the binary number. The first number represents the input and the second number represents the output. So with the initial state 0, 0 for the input x is equal to 0, the next state it is 0, 0 and the output is 0. So as I said, so this first number it represents the input and the second number it represents the output. So again with this 0, 0 state for the input x is equal to 1. The next state it is 0, 1. 
with the output 0. So next coming to this state 0 1. So for the state 0 1 with the input x is equal to 0 the next state is 0 0 with the output 1. And for the input x is equal to 1 the next state is 1, 1 with the output 0. So, coming to the next state, 1, 0. For the input x is equal to 0, the next state is 0, 0 with the output 1. And for the input x is equal to 1, the next state is 1, 0 with the output 0. Coming to the last state, 1, 1. For the input, x is equal to 0. The next state is 0, 0 with the output 1. And for the input, x is equal to 1. The next state is 1, 0 with the output 0. So, this is the state diagram. So, we have analyzed a given sequential circuit. Consider another example using JK flip-flop. The same procedure is repeated. There is only difference in calculating the next state equations. So, I will quickly uh, discuss this. So, as usual, we will start with the input equations of the flip-flop. And this sequential circuit, it consists of one input, x. And the first flip-flop it is A and the second flip-flop it is B. And the input of this flip-flop is J A, K A and the input of the second flip-flop is J B and K B. The output of the first flip-flop it is Q A and the output of the second flip-flop it is Q B. So this J A it is nothing but Q B. And K B is equal to and of X bar and QB. So KB it is QB X bar. And JB it is equal to X bar. So JB it is equal to X bar. So KB is the output of the XR gate. The input of the XR gate it is QA and X. So KB it is equal to QA XR X. And the next step is to determine the next state equations. Since I am using JK flip-flop, I cannot directly write the next state equation. So, I should go with procedure of finding the flip-flop input first. So, I know the input equations of the flip-flop. So, from the input equations, you substitute the values of QA, QB, X and fill the state table for the flip-flop input. So, for JA, for the first case, J A it is equal to Q B. So, J A it is equal to Q B 0. And K A is equal to Q B into X bar. So, 0 into 1 it is again 0. And J B is nothing but X bar. So, 0 X bar it is equal to 1. Similarly, K B is nothing but Q A X R X. So, 0 X R 1 it is 1. So, to determine the next state equations, I need to use the characteristic table or characteristic equations. The characteristic table, it describes the property of a JK flip-flop. So, for the JK flip-flop, for the input 0, 0, J equal to 0 and K equal to 0, the next state is same as that of the present state. And for the input 1, 0, the next state it is equal to 1. So, similarly for j equal to 1 and k equal to 1, the next state it is complement. So, here it is 0 and here it is complement, it is 1. Similarly, fill all the values. So, this is the second form of the state table. So, finally, draw the state diagram using the state table using the similar procedure. Thank you. Happy learning.